Oh. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of free diving with a free diving expert, Ariadna. We're going to San Antonio to pick up the boat because where we wanna do the free diving and get the best shots is like the north of the island. I haven't really done any preparation whatsoever. I don't really know how to free dive, how to hold my breath, how to equalize. So Ariadna is gonna teach me how to do it and hopefully I will be able to go deeper than three or four meters, but we'll just have to see. How's it going? Oh, 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 yes, and you, I'm quite good. tired and sleepy, but... Really? <laughs> Were you partying last night? This is Ariadna. Hola, hola. Hi. Somebody else? Hey. Sorry, this is not my real voice, but... <laughs> what were you two doing last night? <laughs> Nothing, just go to sleep. But Hi, day with us. I had the last three days, uh, I was working with GoPro. Oh, and I yeah. was waking up every day at 7 a.m. and going straight to the show at 1. So, wow. I'm just... She's a grafter. She's one of the dancers at Leo. My, <laughs> yeah, she's one of the best dancers at Leo, in my opinion. Gracias, gracias. And she uh, she's sponsored by GoPro as well. So she's very talented. <laughs> so you've had three days of non-stop filming for yeah. GoPro. We've been uh, using the new GoPro Hero 10, the one that we are using today. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> High five. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's going to be cool because the quality is insane. Mm -hmm. And where we are going is really beautiful. When was the last time you went there? Uh, a few months ago. Okay. Yeah, we're going to one of the top spots. My is favorite it, one. Did you find it or did Pablo find it? I I went there my first time like like seven years ago. Mm -hmm. so it's like a t not typical place, but it's uh, it's one of the most special places here in Ibiza. Mm -hmm. It's a cave of light, La Cueva de la Luz, and another little island that is around there. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite spots. Awesome. Well, looking forward to it. Everybody excited yeah, for the trip. For me, the most important what I want to teach you is to be calm under the water, yeah, even if it's not deep, even if it's in two meters or whatever, just to, to take cool photos and, and cool content and videos. Maybe it's not necessary, sometimes it's not necessary to go too deep and um, because we can create cool, cool stuff on the um, surface. But that's yeah, you, that's you my, my biggest problem has always been I, I panic as soon as I yeah, go in the water because it's like the, it's a completely different environment and I'm like oh god. For me, oh, the, god, the, god. the thing that I, I like to teach people is to find the peace and the calm under the water. That to start is the most important thing, and this is just mine. And to be with someone who knows that you trust and be together and found the peace under the water. Our underwater filmmaker photographer. Introduce yourself shortly. How are you doing? I'm Pablo Criado, Canary Islands. And yeah, I've been shooting with Ariana for the last five months. And it's amazing to be able to get underwater with her. She is, I think, the best model I've ever met on the water, and it's going to be very exciting. But if, when you go out on a boat in Ibiza, it's beautiful because you have like the scenery, the blue water. In Dubai, it's just not the same. Maybe you have like the city to look at, but it's... Uh -huh. That's why I like coming here. But you know, you have there the, the deepest pool in the world. Oh, yeah. They opened a few months ago. Yeah. You can try there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be fully prepared. You can improve. <laughs> and when I'm coming on, on, Friday, on February, mm -hmm. we try again. Yeah. See how, what are you doing now? Are you, are you going to do it without the oxygen tank? Of course. Yeah. yeah. I, I know how to dive, I have the advanced level, but I always prefer to free dive, 100%. Oh, it failed. What I like to be in the water is to enjoy 
into feel freedom and or this I don't need to go too deep. Yeah. You can I can I can have this feeling even in five meters in ten in fifteen. It's the same feeling for me. Is it like in meditation? For me, hundred percent. How I feel under the water, I don't feel anywhere else. It's my mind it's gone somewhere. I don't know. When and it's freedom, it's like something it's always been hard for me to explain it. I don't know which words used to explain how I feel down there. When did you first do it? Like, did you did you do it one time and just think, oh, this is... No, I mean, I want to do when this. I, I, when like I knew what, what free dive was, uh, I knew that I was doing this all my life and I didn't know that this was a sport. <laughs> because I'm from Canary Island, I grew up in an island and my father and my brother and my sister, they love a lot of the ocean. There was a spear fishing and I was in the water all day. Also playing like to be a, a mermaid and to be a, to create my stories under the water. And then uh, five years ago, I did a short movie, Cassiopeia. So I did the first uh, free dive level. And I discovered that what I was doing, it was actually a, a sport. And I didn't know it because I've been all my life under the water. Just because I, my passion and I feel that I need to be there. But when I see the videos and the pictures, it looks like you're just like so at home, like in your element. Actually, yes, it's, it, it's how I feel, mm. like home. And even, it doesn't matter what's, what's happening in my life. Once I'm under the water, everything is appealing. It's really a meditation and so necessary for me. And yeah. it's where I found my freedom, the most peaceful moments in my life. It's under the water because everything in my mind is clear and just feeling myself. If you had to give up one thing, free diving or dancing. Wow, no, don't, don't tell up. me no, that. You have to I'm gonna kill them. myself. <laughs> no, I can, no, I can of course. choose. <laughs> I feel like you'd give up the dancing. I'm not sure because now I'm starting to dance under the water. I mean, I'm taking my uh, skills dancing, using it under the water, so I'm mixing it. Mm -hmm. And it's a different feeling, but also I don't have people, I don't have the stage that is a feeling that I really love. But actually, right now, I don't know what to choose because during the day I'm in the water, but during the dinner time I'm on the stage. So don't tell, don't ask yeah. me this question anymore. <laughs> my brain is like, She's dancing every single night and it is a serious, serious routine. So if you guys ever come to Ibiza, you have to go to Leo. Where are we heading, Pablo, right now? We're going to a cave, which for me is... A secret cave, yeah? I mean, it's, it's not that secret, but it's secret at the same time. You know, it's, it's, it's not easy access. And for me, it's by far the prettiest place in Ibiza with difference. It's, it's magical. Especially when you do what we're doing in the waters and underwater with the sun rays. It's, you feel like in, in Mexico where you have the cenotes. It's exactly the same effect. So we're going to one of those caves now. Okay, so we're here. Let's see how you feel in the water. Try to find your peace and your calm under the water and to make you a mermaid man. <laughs> Aquaman. 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 <laughs> your next Aquaman, guys, is right here. <laughs> how many times would I to equalize? Every time that you need. I equalize a lot. Don't wait, wait too much and don't push much. Just as much as is necessary. How deep is it? Here is, it's not too deep not panic, to go inside. It's just to hold your breath, and maybe you have to go deep four meters, not more. Uh, but you, you need to know how to equalize properly in this four meters. Ah, it's a lot to take in, really. <laughs> One, two, and three.
everybody having bread, sandwiches, mm. chips. But Uncle Mike, he's got his omelette, the notorious omelette. <laughs> Enjoy everybody. Yay. Gracias, mi cielo. I was literally shitting myself. Like when we <laughs> when we did the first the first test where we just dove down, I was like, oh my god, like I was instantly scared. I, I, I can feel your panic. Yeah. I felt your, your panic. Because we went down just to see how deep I could go, how long I could hold my breath. And it was not very long. Like it was instantly in a completely different environment. Maybe and I ten just seconds. Out. And I was like, nah, went straight back up and like I'm just trying to get my breath back and I honestly just thought no I don't, I don't really want to do this today I just want to get back on the boat I like you guys just go and film everything I'll just chill in but we got better and better and I think the the scariest point was obviously going we had to go underneath this rock to get to the cave and I had no idea like how deep it was going to be how long I'd have to hold my breath and I was ready to turn away I was ready to I be saw like, it yeah. I saw it in your eyes like no no guys you can go like no i know you can do it it's pure fear in my eyes. <laughs> i was waiting the, the second time i was waiting for him down there like okay and come and come are you okay and his eyes was like no, <laughs> no. but then i knew i knew if i if i didn't do it like i would have been annoyed at myself <laughs> and obviously the video would just be like obviously. and i told you once i saw you dive a few times I knew you can do it because you know how to equalize. You can hold your breath much more than what you think. Yeah. You just need to find the, um, the calm. Yeah. And this, we can work in that together. And yeah. we did it. Because it's such a different environment, which I'm obviously not used to, it's, it's hard to just be like, okay, yeah, just be calm. Because it's, it's a completely different world. But I would imagine just the more you practice, the more you get used to being in the water, it's easier just to calm your mind and then if you can calm the mind then you can stay on the wall like three or four times for longer. me it's the most important thing before to learn how to free dive or how to go deep or whatever it's to find the um, the calm under the water and it's impossible to do nothing she didn't bring an outfit for me i'm a little bit disappointed i was expecting one in full like leopard print <laughs> i have one more oh. <laughs> no i'll get my forearm in <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed it. It was taken under the water with an absolute pro. The mermaid, she is literally superhuman. Even Pablo as well, watching those two work together is like, it's crazy. They're somehow like able to communicate underwater, but just their ability to hold their breath and do some of the things they were doing, it's just mental. Like, <laughs> it'd take me a long time to get to that level. But it'd be possible though, just take a lot of practice. But a hell of a lot of fun, really enjoyed it. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Adios. Well done, team. We absolutely smashed it today. Yes. I think the next time we meet again, we'll probably be in Dubai. Yes, I hope. <laughs> the, deep, the deep, deep underwater pool.
and hopefully my skills will have improved by then. All the descriptions of everyone's social media pages is in the description of this video. Make sure you go check them out, follow them, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys soon. See ya. Yeah, thumbs up. <laughs>